Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Thompson, and of course I'm running to become your next mayor in the Belleville Municipal Election this October. You can view more information on my webpage at voteforkyle.ca or visit us on our social media pages as you are today. As many know, I was the late add to the race and therefore I'm a little behind the other two candidates in getting things going. Some might say I'm the underdog. However, I think I'm personally furthest from this and as you watch my campaign, I am sure you'll get this same feeling and understand why. It's true that I'm a little unconventional, but I never heard progress and conventional used in the same sentence except here, of course. I tend to speak out in cases where I see injustice or potential imminent harm and have a terrible act of putting myself in front of these harms to shelter others. Odd characteristics for someone in public office, yes, I know. But here I am running to be your mayor, not to hear my voice, but to ensure you can share your voice. Open discussions and conversations help to build communities and keep them safe for your families and friends, while our arrogance, ignorance, and avoidance of such things cause nothing short of devastation and disruption to so many. I may not be polished or refined enough for some, and in fact, some might say I'm a little grizzled and etched, which I guess I will accept as it may describe my response in cases where I find external influences are impeding on our growth or well-being or even safety of our community. Frankly, I find this to be a better response than an extended arm pointing out to nowhere and explaining to you that it's our provincial or federal government's fault. Problems exist in many communities, not just ours. The fact is, is that when others refuse or drag out assistance in these cases, we have to recognize that collectively we have the solutions and should not be afraid to use them when it, when it involves the betterment of our community and everyone in it. Despite the projected or worrisome outlook for the near future, I believe that communities that work collectively and collaboratively will thrive and flourish. I look to support and foster community programs that will assist our community members in their efforts to reach higher levels of prosperity and wealth building and more importantly, a heightened standard of living, which surprisingly does not have to include a monetary contribution. For families and young homeowners within the region, I'd like to put a four-year freeze on property tax, if not a reduction. And furthermore, I'd like to reduce senior property tax by 20%, along with devising plans for senior renters to reduce the burden during these times of high inflation and taxation that seemingly continue to grow daily. To learn more or hear more about this, of course, once again, please visit us at voteforkyle.ca. On here, you will find my first written statement and announcement that I'll be running for mayor, which is important and certainly will get you thinking. And more importantly, you'll find our campaign points in our first topic that certainly may be a little controversial, but certainly needs to be pointed out and cleared up before many others should be permitted to move forward. This you'll find under the news and or the integrity matters and house cleaning portion of our campaign. You will also find added on here at some point videos and even better recorded Zoom conversations and interviews with special guests to talk about the homeless uh, situation, conversations with two large national organizations surrounding health and nurses and doctors and police and other essential services and many other issues that affect you and our community. It's always good to keep an open mind. Unconventional solutions are needed for unconventional times. And I can offer you and our community this and even more. So this fall, I hope you can, I can earn your vote, find solutions for our problems, and finally create an atmosphere in this place we call home that is alive and will thrive. Thank you very much for your valuable time and looking forward to speaking with you again. Take care.